Well now, nothing like a classic hammer horror trailer for Halloween, eh? <laughs> Hello, my dreary one. Welcome back to Penny Dreadful's Halloween special. I am here with a gentleman named Neil DeConti from Horror Idols. You're in for a treat, hi, Neil. Hi, thank you. How are you? I'm excellent. Now, my witch's mark is tingling over these terrifying figures lurking in the background here. Tell us a little bit about Horror Idols, Neil. Horror Idols I started about four years ago and uh, basically started it to create a high-end collectible for horror movie figures. Um, each one is limited edition, only 20 being produced of each and I work in conjunction with the actors on these so they have full input on what we do plus they receive one of the pieces also. Excellent. Now, the amount of detail that goes into these figures is quite amazing, I must say. Thank you. How long does it take from start to finish to build one of these up? To, to do the sculpt, it averages about 100 to 150 hours. And that's just to do the sculpt with a reference and to get the sculpt complete. Once the sculpt's complete, then we got to do a set of molds off of the original wax. And uh, to build each one, it's about 100, anywhere between 100 and 175 hours to build each one. Amazing. It must take quite a lot of patience to, to do that. Yes. Now, uh, uh, what, do you, what medium do you work in? How do you, how do you build these? What is the material? The, the figures are sculpted in a wax-based clay and uh, it's, it's hard to the touch. It needs to be heated to be softened. So we do the sculpt in the wax uh, clay, and once that's done, then we do the molds. Excellent. Now you do these all by yourself, yes. right? And yes. even the painting and all yes. that too? Uh, the only one that helps me right, right now is my uh, son. Oh, he, right. He's doing the molding and casting for me. But I do the sculpting and I do all the finished work. Wonderful. Now, how do you decide which character you're going to do next? I've seen Leatherface and Red Reagan from The Exorcist, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I've seen your uh, Jeepers Creepers yes. one that you did too. You didn't have that one here, but it has no. the big wings and all that. Yes. Now, what makes you, how, what, how do you decide which character you're going to do? That's the best part of having your own company, because you can pick what you want to do. And that's basically what it is. I'm sorry to say I'm selfish. So it's the ones that I want to do. And that's, that's the ones that we produce. So. Wonderful. Well, you're, you're talking to a witch, so <laughs> being selfish, hey, it goes with the territory, you know, dear. I call it being self-fulfilling. You know? <laughs> uh, so tell us, uh, tell us a little bit more. Where, now, you go to conventions and you, yes. you show these off at conventions and mm -hmm. you sell them as well. It's, yes. Now, how, how does one go about uh, getting one of these remarkable figures? They can, they can go to the website, www.horridols.com. They can purchase right through there, or you can contact me through Facebook or MySpace. And, uh, we have easy payment plans because these these are expensive. They they average anywhere between uh, fourteen and eighteen hundred dollars a piece. There's li they're limited editions. There's only twenty being produced of each. After the twenty are produced. The molds are destroyed and the originals are destroyed. No others will be made. Mm. Now, Neil, looking at these figures, I noticed a, a little uh, golden plaque on each one that's uh, signed. Is that, a, is that the actual actor who signs it? Yes, yes. Working in conjunction with the actor, each, each piece is signed by the actor. And also on the base is actual gravel from the actual movie locations. Wow. And we have photographs documenting that also. Amazing. That what what attention to detail to actually go to the film location and get the the dirt from where it was filmed to, to go with the character. Excellent. It adds quite a great amount of authenticity to it, doesn't it? Hmm. Yes. Excellent. Now, can you give us a, a hint, maybe, of what's coming up next? Down mm -hmm. that little spoiler. No. Yeah, we uh, we have a few more uh, 2001 Maniacs characters mm -hmm. coming up. And uh, we're working with uh, D. Snyder on a Strangeland figure right now. Really? Yes. Well, that's interesting. Yes. Hmm. A D. Snyder from Twisted Sister, right? Yes. We're not going to take it anymore. Yes. Excellent. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Neil. It's a 
pleasure having you here, and I hope you'll stick around for Dave's Tale of Terror. Of course, that's coming soon. That. So we're going to go to a new uh, trailer that I hope you like. This one uh, will set the mood for your Halloween Eve. <laughs>